Hello and welcome back to the Pokey Small Channel. Today we will be, as uh, I said in the last video, we'll be opening up a pack of um, Scarlet Violet Paldea Revolved in the Back to School Eraser set. And obviously this time we have got Lechonk, who's currently kept inside a load of stuff ready for landfill. So again, I think it's the same sort of blurb on the back there. There we go. So yeah, again, get ready for the next uh, your next pro Pokemon project with a Pokemon Eraser. Lovely. So again, these were from Game eight ninety nine for it, and you get the two packs and you get the rubber. So you know they're normally four pounds a pack. I know that might be a little bit much for you know a bit much to pay for it, Scarlet and Violet base, but you do get the rubber. So if you say four pounds a pack plus the Eraser, it's a pound for the Eraser. So it's pretty fun as well. And we've got the little small of there from last time so let's get it a little friend and of course we are the pokey small channel small brilliant right so let's crack on with this hopefully we can open this better than the previous one let's crack this open nope yeah we are in luck we've got this thing it's actually happening have i actually managed to open something competently from the paldea revolve there Oh, pull that off. More gump for landfill. We've got our two packs there. No small if stay in place. And pop that there. And then we have the Lechonk. Wow, he is a heavy boy. He weighs a lot more. So Lechonk weighs in at 50 grams, just over 50.1. And Smoliv, living up to the namesake, weighs in it. Oh, they're exactly the same. Oh, who knew? Oh, lovely stuff. That one seems so much heavier. 50.1. 50.1. Okay, fair enough. I stand corrected. But let's put some olive there. Let's pop the chunk there. Can we get him looking up? I don't know how long he'll stay there for. So we've got our two packs here. So first one is Scarlet and Violet Base. So let's put that onto the scales. Weighing in at a 59.4. And then we've got Paldea Revolved, which we are weighing in at a 59.6. So that one could be tasty, he says. Right, so we've got that there. So let's just crack on with it. So I remember from last time we have the cards from the back. I think it's four. And then you have the live card as well, which obviously, you know, whack it in online. Let me know what it is that you get. So there we go. So uh, your code card is... There we go. Let me know if you get anything good off that, uh, which would be great. Da -da -da. For like the three people that watched the first video, I think most of them were just me re-watching it to see what the numbers were. So with this one, we do four from the back. One, two, three, four. Put them to the back there. Fantastic. And we've messed it up. This seems to be a sort of like recurring theme on this channel. So we'll move them to the back because I can see that they're shiny. So apart from my messed up uh, unwrapping there, so we have a Char Cadet. We have our boy himself, Lechonk. Now, so we've got like one of the cards for the rubber in each pack, quite like that. We've got a Starly, looking like it's made out of rubber, quite a theme. We have a Tarantula. We have a Cyclizar. Cyclizar? Yeah. We have a Vitality Band. We have a Toxtricity. We have the Reverse Slowpoke, which we all saw at the beginning. And then I think our next one is a Reverse Rare Candy. And our final card is Iron Tread ZX. Very nice. And there's also an energy card, Iron Tread ZX. I have already got this one from a previous pack that we were selling in my local one stop of all places. So it's quite a good one stop. It's got like a slush puppy machine, they do eat sandwiches, pies, that sort of thing. It's basically everything that's had a, an American candy section. Not a massive fan of these ones, but hey, it's still nice to have a hit. So we'll pop that there. And then we are then on to our next pack, which was a little bit heavier. And we have Skull and Violet Paldea Evolved. Is this the first expansion Paldea Evolved? Yeah, because then I think it's Obsidian Flame after that. I think, is there another one? Oh, I think there is one. Maybe? With that thing with the fangs on the front and the teeth. Oh, that might be Paul Day. I think, no, I think that's Paul Day Revolved as well. So, take off the wrapper. Here's your code card as well. There we go. 
Again, let us know if you get anything good. I'm not quite sure how it works. Now, we're gonna try and actually get the shuffle right. So, one, two, three, four. Right. So when we flip it over, this should be the energy card. And it's not. I'm beginning to think there isn't actually a trick, is there, to these ones? I think, oh no, they're not. It's not. You just open them out the pack. Ah, that's where I'm going wrong. We'll remember that for next time. So we have Nasil. We have Frey Quoco. We have Waterroll. I actually got one of those. Uh, shiny in the game. First ever shiny I got. Nope, tell a lie. I also got a Dino shiny in black and white. So yeah, that was my first shiny in about 12 years. I didn't really play the X and Y. I played X and Y a little bit, um, but uh, yeah, didn't really play it. I didn't play Sun or Moon at all. Then we've got a Tinkertown, quite a fan favourite of this generation. We have a Sagaruguro. We have a Fargriff. Now, I tried to play with this one on um, Violet, but it just wasn't, uh, I just couldn't seem to make it work on the team sort of thing, so it did end up getting benched. We have a uh, Zaz Zalius, Zwilus, uh, and again that one was the one that I got um, shiny originally in Gen 5. Then we've got a Dunsparce reverse, but we've already seen that. We then have a Harry Armour, nice little reverse hollow there. And our final card is a Rapska. It's quite nice, quite fun to evolve as well in the game. And then we have the energy card at the back. So between the two packs, we got the Iron Treads EX, and we also got the Rabska as well. So there we go. That is it all sorted then. So again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the feedback on the videos. I am really enjoying making them. It gives me a good excuse to uh, buy Pokemon cards that I wouldn't normally collect because I normally just collect the sort of like Wizards of the Coast ones up until Gym Heroes Challenge. And we're doing okay with that collection. That's all sort of coming together. I pick up quite a nice, um, I pick up the other week, it was quite nice. The Psyduck one, one of the um, Edwin Munch ones. Picked up one of those the other day for my uh, the card shop that I go to. Very good shop, very good shop. Good prices, fantastic stuff, just brilliant. But yeah, so that concludes the unwrapping, unboxing even. Unwrapping, I suppose it's more of an unwrapping. Uh, and then next time we have got just some loose boosters, he says. So next time we have Obsidian Flames, four packets of them. So hopefully we can be chasing those Charizards because I believe there's four Charizards in that set. So we'll give that a go next time. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any feedback, let us know on how to improve it. Apart from, you know, I, I presume pun punctuation and everything will probably be up there. But I'm getting a little bit more relaxed now with these videos that we're doing. So hopefully, you know, when will the next video be the third one? third one maybe no fourth one so hopefully in the fourth video where uh, i can get you know i can be a little bit more normal on camera as opposed to rushing through um the video um but yeah again thank you for the feedback obviously we were only a small little channel it's just something to do because i was opening up some cards with my brother in a card shop and i thought oh i watch people do this all the time hey i'll give it a crack and it'll be fun but yeah thank you very much for watching and um yeah i'll see you in the next one Bye bye